Hello, welcome to chapter 34, part 1, Bootstrap Scrolls by Plugin, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we will be learning like how to work with Bootstrap Scrolls by Plugin. So, first let us understand what do you mean by Scrolls by Plugin. Keep in mind, the Bootstrap Scrolls by Plugin, it automatically highlights the navigation links based on the scroll position to indicate where the user is currently on the web page. This is the advantage of using these Scrolls by Plugin. And in order to work with Scrolls by Plugin, we need to take help of three important attributes. They include Data Spy, Data Target and Data Offset. We are going to learn the importance of all these attributes when we code for uh, Scrolls by Plugin in Visual Studio. Right now, without wasting much time, let me jump into Visual Studio and let me make uh, the necessary arrangements to work with Scrolls by Plugin. So what I'll do, and this is my Visual Studio, and this is an empty web project. To this empty web project, I have added a reference of Bootstrap as well as jQuery, and also one custom defined style sheet you can observe here. And I'm going to make uh, help of these style sheet, okay, later. Now what I'll do is, first I'll take a due element. To this due element, let me add a class called container. And after that, let me take a due. Okay, and inside this due, let me add a h1 element. And right now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a set of images and I'm going to name them. The first one I'm going to add is fruits. And the respective images, I'm going to drag and drop it now. I'm going to add it by drag and drop this is my solution explorer in the solution explorer i have a folder called images under under the images folder i have a set of images so to this do i'm going to add a fruit images how do i add it i'll just drag and drop that okay and to this image let me add a bootstrap image class that is image responsive which makes the image responsive okay and similarly what i'll do i'll copy and paste it okay uh, four times because I have other four images to do okay now what I need to do is I need to change the name this is vegetables and similarly I have to change the name here also okay that is vegetables and third one is flask and here also I have to change it to flowers and the next one is tiger as well as penguin let me go and change it tiger and the image also uh, its respective tiger and this let me change it to penguin controllers and what I need to do is right now to the respective views I'll add an ID later I'm going to make use of this ID similarly let me copy let me do it for other views also this is the ID which is having vegetables vegetable and this view let us assign the ID as flowers or else flower and this ID to have a tiger the ID is tiger to this due because it contains the tiger image similarly let me add ID to this telling like penguin controllers and what I need to do is I need to write one custom defined style sheet uh, style here what I need to do is I need to add one class okay uh, let me write a style my class name is style due okay controllers let me go and copy this style class to all each of the due present here and what are the what is the style I'm going to define it to this class I'm going to define the style to this class in my custom defined style sheet telling like style it's a class so I have to go with the dot operator style div the style I'm going to define here is padding top I'll assign 70 pixel control s now this is my web page now when I go back and when I refresh 
okay you can observe what we are getting right now is we are getting a fruit adding as well as the image to that similarly we are getting vegetables and the respective image and also flower the respective image tiger with the tiger image and penguin with the penguin image this is what we are getting right now and our next objective is to add the nav bar okay uh, as we discussed in the last session like in the earlier sessions like how to work with the nav bar and we have done it successfully and just to not to waste the time what I've done is instead of me writing the code here I've just copied that navbar code I'll paste it right now here and if you want to learn the navbar how to build a navbar you can refer my earlier videos and right now I'll go and copy the code for navbar which is in my text pad okay now what I'll do I'll place that navbar at the top of this container okay now control V Control S. Now, when I go back and when I refresh, you can observe we will get a navbar which is having the items Om about contact products and this subscribe search button as well as subscribe button. But as of now, th this navbar was built like in my earlier sessions. Now uh, we don't need this uh, search box as well as the submit button. Let me go and remove that. So how do I remove that? It's present in this form, so I have to remove this. Okay. When I do Control S. When I go back, when I refresh, you can observe uh, the search box as well as the submit button is no more. And currently, what I need to do is I need to align this links present inside this navbar to this image. Okay, you can observe the image and the heading starts from here, but the links they are starting here at the extreme left. Now I want to push them uh, to align these heading as well as image. How do I do that? It's very simple. What I need to need to do is I need to take one due element. To this due element, I need to add a class called container and after that what I need to do is uh, I need to cut and paste this complete navbar whatever it is present here inside this due control s when I go back when I refresh okay let me go and ch check it what is the problem there okay what I need to do is I need to place this due uh, when I do control Z you can observe okay this is what we have right now uh, I need to place only the items not the entire navbar so what I need to do is uh, I need to create a due inside for this navbar header not to the entire navbar so due uh, so I'll do enter to this due I'll add a class called container and what I'll do is I'll cut and paste this due first due control X inside this navbar and also similarly this one control V when I do control S when I go back and when I refresh currently you can observe these links which are present inside the navbar home about contact products they are aligned to this adding as well as to the image perfectly now what I need to do is I need to, I need to change the name of this images okay um, these links so what I need to do I'll jump back and right now I'll change it here it is home first one it is fruits and the second one is vegetables and the third one is flowers and the fifth one is animals I do control s when I go back and when I refresh you can observe how the links have been changed to their respective names like the fruits the vegetables and the flowers and animals but animals currently we have two animals that is tiger as well as penguin so what I need to do is to this link I need to add a drop down how do I do it it's very simple uh, what I'll do right now is to this link I'll add a class called drop down and also to this hyperlink I need to add some data dash attributes data toggle is equal to drop down and also class set to drop down toggle control s and um, I to indicate this link as a drop down uh, we need to add one arrow mark pointing downwards how do I get that uh, I need to take a span element To the span element I need to add a class called um, the class is carrot control s 
and when I go back, when I refresh, currently we are getting that arrow mark which indicates a drop down. But when I click on that, I should get two items drop down menu items. They include tiger as well as penguin. How do I get it? Uh, it's very simple. What I need to take is I need to take another unordered list. Inside unordered list, I need to add an element. Okay, and here I'll name it as tiger. And let me copy this another time and I'll name it as penguin control s to this unordered list I need to add a class called drop down menu control s when I go back when I refresh now when I click on this drop down you can observe I'm getting two drop downs that is the tiger as well as penguin but when I click on them you can observe where this is fruits vegetables flowers and animals right now they are not working in the sense what I need to do is when I click on the vegetables I need to get this vegetable image similarly when I click on flowers I need to get the flower image how can I do that it's very simple uh, what we have to do is we have to attach the respective due to the respective hyperlinks so what I need to do is at that time I created this ID so let me go and make help of this ID what I need to do is I need to copy this ID of the due which is having ID as fruit and in the respective this do we have a image fruit image so when user click on this hyperlink of fruit you need to get the fruit image so similarly for vegetable similarly for flower similarly for this as I know the IDs I'm typing directly and this is penguin Okay. Control S when I go back and when I refresh you can observe now when I click on the fruits I'm getting the fruit image similarly when I click on the vegetables I'm getting vegetable image as flowers I'm getting the flower similarly let me check it for tiger as well as the penguin okay but now our work starts in the sense now the intention of this session is going to start in the sense you can observe very clearly okay our intention is as soon as, as, soon as I'm scrolling this web page you can observe um, let me go back at the top again okay now we have a fruit image now when I scroll down okay uh, we are coming into vegetable as soon as we get the vegetable image this link has to get highlighted okay how, how do we achieve that we can achieve that by using this bootstrap scrolls by plugin okay this is the intention of this session like as soon as I scroll this web page down okay my uh, now the flower is visible completely once the flower is visible completely this link has to get highlighted so how can we achieve that we can achieve that by this cross by plugin so what I need to do is I need to take help of these attributes that is data spy data target and data offset so what I'll do right now I'll jump back to my visual studio here okay where, where I need to set those attributes I need to set those attributes inside the body tag so first let me understand what is that attribute that attribute first and foremost important is data spy this attribute is applied on the element that is being spied on in most cases this is the body element so let me go and set this data spy to the body element data spy and the value is crawled to it control s and also let me come back and the data target this attribute is used to link scrollable element with the navigation element in most cases it is applied on the body element so our intention is we have to get the uh, link uh, link active in the sense link to be highlighted when the respective image is present so how can I get it I can get it by adding the data dash at target okay okay the target is this navbar so let me add ID to it ID is uh, nav bar main so this is a ID so we have to take a ash and this let me copy this and let me paste it here control V and also we are left with another important attribute that is data offset this attribute specifies the number of pixels to offset from the top when calculating the position of the scroll this is extremely useful to control when the navigation links are highlighted as the page is being scrolled this attribute is optional okay this attribute is option not compulsory and the default value is 10 so what we'll do right now we'll call this attribute and we'll set the value to 10 data offset we'll set it to 10 control s 
now we are left with another important point okay but now when i do control s when i go back and when i refresh now uh, we are at the top of the page here okay now you can observe the fruit is highlighted but as soon as i scroll down and when i get the vegetable you can observe our vegetable is being get highlighted similarly as soon as i scroll down when i get the flowers you can observe the flower link is getting highlighted similarly as soon as i scroll down when i get the tiger you can observe the tiger is getting highlighted you can see it right now now what i'll do i'll scroll it down again okay penguin the penguin is getting highlighted this is what we achieved in this session with the help of this scroll spy plugin and another important point we have to keep in mind when you are working with scroll spy plugin is okay these are the important points the doc type declaration is required for the scroll spy plugin to work in the sense right now in this page we are declared this doc type html now when i remove this control x when i do control s when i go back when i refresh okay now let me move it to the top of the web page scroll bar okay now it is in the fruits you can observe but our link is still staying in the animal itself okay that is okay now you observe now when i scroll down now when i scroll down the links are not getting highlighted based on the respective images because keep in mind this declaration is very important telling like it's of html5 so what i need to do is i need to add it again when i do control s when i go back when i refresh now you can observe the link turn from animal to flower because currently we are displaying the flower image now as soon as i scroll up okay you can observe we are on the vegetables and right now we are getting the fruits now again when i scroll down you can observe as soon as i get the vegetable image completely that link is getting highlighted so the important point is you have to add this doc type declaration and make sure the element with data spy scroll as the position style set to relative right now we are not done that what we have to do is another important point there might chances this data spy scroll will not work when we have not set the when we have not set the body position to relative currently it's working in some situations it might not work so what we have to do is to be at safer side we have to set this body position to relative when i go back when i refresh again you can observe currently we are on the fruits and as soon as i get the vegetable the vegetable is getting highlighted similarly when on the flower the flower link is getting highlighted this is what the important points you have to keep in mind when you work with scroll spy plugin and these are the guys who are doing this scroll spy this data spy data target and data offset okay now what i'll do is uh, let me make you understand the importance of this data offset now the value is 500 okay uh, when i set it to 500 sorry 10 the earlier value was 10 now the value is 500 now when i go back when i refresh you can observe here currently we are on this link but you observe here this vegetable link okay will get highlighted before the image comes of the respective link in the sense currently we are still on the uh, fruit image but the vegetable link is getting highlighted okay before the image of that vegetable comes so the default value of this the data offset is 10 so we should not alter that okay and this is what the advantage of using this data offset and finally in this session we learned like how to work with scroll spy plugin and we achieved it very clearly and we also saw a beautiful demo and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel ang pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting these urls you can also follow us on twitter for further references refer our website and we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day